Hey guys, um, haven't posted in a while, but I'm back and I'm gonna try to post, hopefully, or I guess upload, uh, at least once a, once a week from here on out, hopefully. I'll try my best. But it's uh, late March right now. We're probably about a week away from ice out, uh, but a lot of lakes still have ice on them, so we can't really go after the bass or pan fish right now. So right now we're just gonna stick with uh, trout. And right now we're at a, a creek out in the middle of the woods and we're gonna try to catch some little brookies and maybe some brown trout. So we'll see how that goes. See you guys out there. Right now all I'm doing is just finding each one of these little deep spots in this little creek. Looks like there's a lot of weeds and mats to undercut. So hopefully there's some hopefully there's a trout just tucked up underneath one of these mats somewhere. Wow, I caught the one stick in the middle of the creek. Alright. Well we made it through all that thick stuff. Now we're down underneath the beaver dam. Cool little area. I've only fished this creek a couple of times, but right down in here is where I have my the most luck. Now we have to make the jump. Oh gosh. Would not advise this, by the way. Uh, this is one of those don't do this at home type situations. All right. Where's the edge? The edge is right about there. All right. Oh. That was close, but we made it. All right, well, we made it up on top of the beaver dam. I definitely would not advise climbing up on top of a beaver dam. They're not the uh, sturdiest structures in the world. Oh, we gotta follow. I can see one right there. He followed it. Didn't like it though. Cast it in front of his face, bring it into him. Looks like a nice little brookie. I think he's onto us. But all you can do is keep trying. Kind of thinking I should go with a little bit more subtle of a presentation. Maybe like a little jig, a little trout minnow, trout jig, whatever they're called. Trout magnet, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch up lures here and get back out there. All right, so we re-rigged, re got a little Berkeley minnow on a gold trout magnet jig head. Let's see if this is the trick. Just twitch it, slow retrieve. Oh, he had it. All right, we had one, boys. I just wasn't expecting one that fast. Probably not gonna get him to bite again either.
think that was just a stick. There we go, there we got one. That's just a real little guy. I wet my hand real quick before I touch him. Come on, stop, 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 stop. There, look at that. Try to get this little guy out of there. Look at that beautiful little tiny, beautiful little brook trout. Really small guy, but absolutely gorgeous. Get him back in the water, and he's off. Nothing even happened. That tiny little change made a world's difference. Sweet. Well, let's try getting a little bit bigger one. I kind of want to try going over there, but I don't really like walking across dams too much. I'm thinking the fish, and ever since we pulled that one little trout out of here, I think the fish here are kind of onto us now because trout are really finicky like that. Catch one and they get smart really fast. Probably gonna get snagged, but let's try it over here real quick. Well, we're on the board at least. Let's try moving along here, see if we can't find anything. Well guys, uh, just because you can make it over without falling in, doesn't mean that you'll necessarily be able to make it back. Oh, that is great. I knew I should turn the camera on. Oh man. That is fantastic. Now, I'm all wet, and it's cold. Oh, fantastic. That is great. Oh, I have a, the car is kind of a long ways away. I have an extra pair of boots, socks in my car. Do I really want to go grab them? Oh yeah, that's definitely cold. Um, I'll tough it out for now. Should have just walked across right there. That would have been probably smarter maybe. Is it doable? Yeah, no, I'm not going to get wet twice. <laughs> All right, so what did we learn today? Um, we learned to always turn on the camera before you're about to do something stupid. And uh, when in doubt, just bring your waders. I was thinking about bringing my waders today. Forgot them at home. Wouldn't have a wet foot right now if I had my waders. <laughs> so... Yeah, next time I come here, I'll definitely be wearing some waders. What else is there? There's a lot to learn from. Don't do stupid things, all right? Make sure you always think ahead. I knew I could make it across. I didn't think about making it back across. That was very dumb on my part. But overall, it was a really fun day. Caught one little small brook trout. 
Um, I had a couple other spots that I wanted to go try and get to today, but it's just kind of cold and uh, not comfortable with a wet foot. As you can probably see, um, oh yeah, I can probably see over there. There's still some snow. There's still snow. It's melting, but it still is kind of cold. It's high 30s right now. Not ideal conditions to have wet feet in. So I'm gonna call it a day for today. Probably hit up another farm creek um, tomorrow or the day after if it's not raining or storming or whatever. But until then, have a good one. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.